So darling, I'm here to stay Don't really care what they say And time to build up this family Get through it all that comes our way We won't let the days go by Without you here by my side Look in my eyes Get through it, you and I I mean, things between RSC and me are better now. But I still feel bad about it. She left her mother's scarf on the bed. How to know you're not supposed to wash it? It also happened just after Mother's Day. I'm sure it's not going to be easy for her. Can't believe Ma passed away only six months ago. It feels so much longer than that. What to do? Life goes on. Yeah. She always knew the right thing to do. The right thing to say. At least now you have Alex. I'm still amazed that he managed to talk to Pa in coming for our wedding. He wasn't the only one who spoke. I was starting to think that Pa will never approve of him. Pa is like that. Very stubborn. <sighs> hey, Pa is very lucky to have you taking care of him. I'm sure he appreciates that. Hmm? Brayden already has tuition in math and science, plus coding enrichment. It's not just any tuition. It's Wang Lao Shi, and she's legendary, okay? I heard she taught a French boy. Oh, expert family. He entered P5 with zero Chinese, got AL1 for PSLE, and now he's taking higher Chinese. I'm just worried we are putting too much stress on Brayden. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Dear, he's only in P5. Exactly, his PSLE is next year. You yourself saw how hopeless his things here is. Is it going to be expensive? This is an investment for Brayden's future. I'll take that as a yes. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time when I let you talk me out of signing Brayden up for the GEP selection test prep class. Okay, fine. Let's engage this Wang Lao Shi. It's not so simple. That's why I need your help. So all you do is sit here and keep refreshing the website? Fastest fingers first. That's how popular this Wang Lao Shi is. It's such a waste of time. Not when Brayden's AL wants at stake. And because of this, I have to handle all the walk-ins, all the sales and all the deliveries? Pa, hmm? how come Kok can Skype just because he's trying to sign up for some famous tuition teacher? Learning Chinese properly is important. Next time when Brayden starts working, you will need to be good at his Chinese. That's what you said to us, but it's not like we speak a lot of Chinese. Because you don't know how. When you have children, I will also let you Skype when you look for the tuition teacher. You are meeting Philip for lunch? Yeah. He didn't have time to listen to my explanation yesterday. Why was I so stupid to send the email to him instead of Patrick? Hey, maybe this will make Philip finally appreciate you, yeah. right? Mm. I mean, tell him it's not your fault that someone wants to poach you. Oh, get it? Poach you. What if he fires me? Because he thinks that I want to quit anyway? No, no. And then what if after that people talk? My reputation goes down the drain. Plus, Patrick won't want to hire me anymore. Hey, Philip's not the type to hold a grudge, right? Worst comes to worst, you can always do a mid-career switch just like your good friend, Evelyn. The worst part is, do you think I want to change jobs just because I didn't get a promotion? Well, it's sort of true you wanted to quit because Harish got the promotion? People change jobs all the time. Yeah, for a youngster. But a dinosaur like me, I worked here 20 over years. Oh, changing job is a big deal. Oh, you would think that I'm a sore loser. Hey, don't worry too much, okay? 
Just go for the lunch and see what he says. Yeah, at the very least, you get a free lunch out of it. What's up trying to be funny? Pa! Where are the two of you going? We are going to a viewing nearby. Viewing? Who is viewing? Pa! You're going for a viewing? Hey, we better make move or we'll be late. I didn't know you are selling the house. What kind of places are you going to view? The seller is calling me. We better go. Sorry, mother. How come you didn't let me know about this? Do I have to let you know every little thing? Huh? Next time I change my underwear, I'll call you, okay? Pa! Come, come, come. Let's go. Sorry, mother. <sighs> friends who are going overseas to study are posting non-stop about their travel plans, what they're going to do, where they're going to stay. Oh, so annoying. You can actually choose not to look at what they post if you don't like it, you know. You'll never understand. You were never ambitious enough to aim for uni like Toro College. I just don't see a point in spending 200 k on a piece of paper when I can get the same thing for like what? Quarter of the price. I should be the one buying the Europe train tickets, learning a new language, making people jealous of me. Not them. Clearly, you got your priorities right. I wonder why your mother wasn't on board with the idea. Oh my gosh, RC, you're a genius. I just need to somehow convince her that I'm mature and sensible enough to go overseas by myself. Good luck with that. Now, what can I do to prove myself? Once again, Philip, I want to apologize for the email that I sent you. What email? That email that I wrongly sent to you. I'm quite sure I never saw any such email from you. I know you're disappointed that you didn't get the promotion. After so many years of dedicated service, I understand how you feel. The thing is, different people have different strengths. You are very detail-oriented. I know I can rely on you to get things done and to do them well. Thanks. I take pride in it. <laughs> Whereas Harash has good people skills, they open up to him. I actually think the two of you can learn a lot from each other and become great leaders if you're willing to work together. Yes, you're right. There's a lot I can learn from him. I look forward to it. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, dear. Sorry, I missed the call. Do you know Pa is selling the house? I know that he's looking for a new place and that's what Alex told me yesterday. So everybody knew about it and nobody told me. Why is he moving out? I don't know. Change of scenery perhaps? Smaller place, easier to maintain? You don't know? Why you never ask him? Don't you care? Doesn't matter. He's gonna do whatever he wants anyway. Why didn't you update me this morning when we met? I didn't think it was a big deal. Well, it is. <sighs> How come Pa told Christine and never say anything to me? She doesn't even make time to spend with him. She's too busy with a new family. Mm -hmm. I'm the one always calling him up to check if he's okay, making soup for him, inviting him for dinner. And yet important thing like this, he tells Christine but not me. Mm -hmm. After Ma passed on, I'm the one trying my best to help him and he doesn't even appreciate. Just ignore me. You also, another one. Mm. Huh? You are supposed to arrange for a medical checkup. You said that you'll go. I'm very busy. When I have time, I will make the appointment. Okay? Ah, so next week I come, eh? Nicely trim. <laughs> eh? Eh? Hello, Peling. Hey, so, 
Anthony didn't manage to get a slot with Wang Lao Si. Ah. No, must be the wireless too slow at the shop or something. So popular, the tutor must be making a lot of money. That's why. I even offered to pay her 50% more intuition fees and prepay her this year and next year and she still said no. Is there like a waiting list? Yes, there is, but the waiting period is about one year. By then, Braden's PSLE would be over. I should have gone into teaching tuition, man. Are Kong still not picking up his phone? When did Pei Ling start helping Kong Kong sell his house behind my back? Behind your... Oh, she doesn't really update me about all her clients. Kong Kong isn't just a client. So, how long already? I didn't know, Ma. I, I promise. So they're keeping it a secret from you too? Not intentionally. I'm sure. I'm so sick of this family. Always keeping secrets. Oh. Ma, Ma. This is very good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, smiling. I take it lunch with Philip went well? It was good to know that my work is value, even if I didn't get the promotion. So I take it you still have a job? Yes, and I'm supposed to work with an open mind mm. and try to work. Hola, Pooch. <laughs> if you have some time later, maybe you can have a quick chat about improving the workflow for admissions and discharges. But we just reviewed it earlier this year. You know what? Let's do it. I'll have coffee with you later. But stop calling me Pooch. <laughs> Got it. Hola, L. Hey, Rash. So I hear you're taking Spanish. Muy bien. You know Spanish? Oh, no, no, no. All the Spanish I know is from Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, arriba, arriba, andale, andale. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where you've been hiding. Your mom's still at the shop? No, she left. She's still angry about your Kong Kong? Yeah, she asked me about that too. What exactly is he up to? The paling mention? I didn't even know about it until Ma grilled me just now. What's the big deal? If he wants to sell his house, let him sell. Your Ma thinks that everything he wants to do must get her approval. I won't be surprised if Akong told Peling to keep it quiet. If I were him, I would also do that. The whole day, God has been trying to get a slot for that Wang Lao Shi. And I have to do all the work. Hey, I must say, this Anthony and Peling are really going all out to help Brayden with this Chinese. It's just gyasu if you ask me. Don't know what's so special about the tutor also. <laughs> My time, there was no such thing as tuition. If you don't want to study, finish. Nobody can help you. Now, you see, the parents are just clicking, 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 clicking. Huh? Just to get a chance to pay for tuition. No choice. Mother tongue is really important nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so important. They actually offered their Wong Lao Shi 50% more than her usual rate. Wait, what? Damn. Your wife didn't tell you about this, huh? Eh? Oh. Oi. Oh, yo. <laughs> I thought you might like a pick me up after your double shift. Well, thanks, Mandy. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> I've also hung up the laundry and cleaned the toilets. I mean, I washed around the tap and sink area. Wait. What? I heard Mum mention to you to do those things when you get back, so I thought maybe I'll help out. Hang on. What's going on here? I just thought that I should start helping out a little more around the house. It must be tough for you and Mum to handle everything, you know? Especially when you're both working. Ah, yeah, it's damn obvious that Mandy wants something. At least I'm pulling my weight around here, unlike some mm. people. Tell me you didn't actually offer to pay Wang Lao 50% more. It's way too much. Like I said, it's an investment. Math plus science plus coding plus 1.5 times Wang Lao Shi. Right. It's all going to be worth it if Brayden gets AL1 at the end. She's also very sought after for secondary school higher Chinese. It's okay. We'll be fine. At most, we delay retirement for a few years. Don't need to be so drama. Anyway, Wang Lao Shi rejected my very generous offer, so we have to keep trying our luck on the website. Wang Lao Shi? That's the name of your Chinese tuition teacher. You should have told me. I know her from my grassroots meetings. 
I can ask her when I see her. So you can help us pull strings? Do you know who I am? Father, you really are hero Heng. <laughs> so, remember, other than SSU, I also got into the hybrid law place, right? Uh, right. The acceptance deadline is coming up soon. Oh, you should quickly inform them you're not accepting so they can give the place to someone else. Actually, I was thinking of rejecting the SSU place and accepting the Highbury place. But I thought it was the other way around. I know, I know. Mum said it's the Royal College or nothing, but if she was willing to let me go to the Royal College, then why not Highbury Law? It's not fair. Don't you think you should talk to your mum about this and not me? I'm waiting for the right time. But in the meantime, maybe you can try and put in a good word for me? I mean, I can try. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Alex! You're the best! <laughs> I just heard from one of my neighbours that Mr Toh, living opposite my block, passed away in his home. Ah, poor thing. I remember he used to buy liang tei from us whenever he walked past. I'm trying to confirm if this is fake news or not. What about Mr Toh? Huh? It's real. I heard from my grassroots group chair. My volunteers were the ones who found him and called the police. What happened? Do they know? Actually, I have known him for many years. He used to get Chi Li Chang Xi capsule from me. Probably he had a heart attack because his neighbors didn't see him for quite a while until they started to smell him. Hi, yo. Growing old is so tough. The seniors, there's no family, no one checking in on them. Even those that have family, they don't always appreciate it. Heart issues. It's really a silent killer. Oh. Yeah, it can happen to anyone. I'm going out to look for a Kong Kong. I went to his house, his clinic, the coffee shop, all his usual places. Can't find him. And he still didn't pick up his phone. I'm sure he's okay. How would you know? So how? You managed to talk to Wang Lao Shi? She doesn't usually do this kind of arrangement. But because we know each other from the grassroots, so she will do it. Yes! At least now there's hope for Braden's PSRE Chinese. Another tuition? He already has so many tuition. Mother, trust me, he really needs it. With the new PSRE scoring system, there are fewer scoring bands. If he doesn't do well in one subject, it will pull down his overall score. Isn't it too stressful for him? I know, Braden. A bit of stress is good, otherwise he won't put in any effort. We've set a target of 8 points for his PSLE. At least then, he'll have options for a good secondary school. I thought they said every school is a good school. Nowadays, it's so competitive. It's about giving Brayden the best chance for his future. Hey, did Gong Gong tell you where is he going after the wedding this morning? No? Why? Huh? He's missing. He's not missing. Lah. I've been trying to contact him the whole day. Nobody can find him. You tell me, not missing? Okay, okay. I have you to call your sister and ask her, okay? Maybe you contacted her. Thank you. Hey, boy, I borrow your phone, can? I don't have Christine's number. Actually, Mandy did the laundry and the toilet. Well, at least the sink. Making herself useful for a change? That's nice. What is she up to? That's your sister, don't you want to answer it? Probably calling to grumble about Ba again. No mood to entertain her. Are you sure? I'm trying to have a conversation with my husband. She can jolly well wait. What if it's urgent? She didn't pick up, right? Always like that. She loved to ignore my calls just to irritate me. Is Pa with you? No. Why? Nobody has seen him since morning. He's not at home, not at the clinic, not at the coffee shop, and he's not answering his phone. Yeah. Are you sure you're not overreacting? I'm going to go out to look for him. You can do what you want. I realised I didn't really give Harris a chance. I had a long meeting with him today. He's actually not that bad. It must have helped that your boss, Philip, values your contributions too. 
Yeah, it's the first time he's ever said that to me. <laughs> that must have been a load off your mind. I was feeling quite resentful. Made it difficult for me to be objective about Haresh. Job satisfaction is important. But boss satisfaction is even more important. Agree, 100%. <laughs> I still think we should make a police report. It's not even one day. But what if something happened to him? Wherever he is, I'm sure there are people around. But what if he slipped and fell in the toilet at home? It's late already. Why not we just wait until tomorrow? I should have forced him to give me a set of his house keys. Maybe we can put a message on social media tonight, just in case. Don't make the whole family panic. Let's go out and find him one more time. Keep looking until we find him. Sweetie, you've had a long day at work. You haven't even eaten dinner. I don't want you collapsing. It's okay, I'm fine. He should be fine. I think you and Alex better go back and rest. We have done enough for tonight already. Come, let's go. You'll be alright. You'll be fine. We'll find him, right? He'll be okay, right? Yeah, of course. I bought your favourite Sung Kui, Peng Kui and Gu Cai Kui especially for you. Thank you. So, have you spoken to Wang Lao Shi yet? Not yet. Very busy. Never mind. Take your time. I just happened to pass by all the shops selling your favourite snacks and specially came here to pass them to you. Did you talk to Brayden about his bad behaviour? What bad behaviour? His form teacher also complained about him, isn't it? Why didn't you tell me that Miss Otega complained about Brayden? 